So um, when we're looking at this, guys, there's two different ways you guys can do this, as I mentioned. You can look at it as knowing that the, the cube root of something multiplied by itself three times is just going to give you what th that value. Or you can look at it as the cube root of x to the third power. It's just going to go x. Either way, both of, these va both of them are going to work. But if you're going to look at it this way, then you've got to write out x to the seventh as x times x times x times x times x times x times x. Yes? So you write, say you wrote it out as all seven x's and you like group them, and then you wrote it out like for your final answer, would it be x, say, yeah, because it, you have two groups of three, so it'd be like, would it be x squared or two x? I'll x go over it. You're going to have x squared, because it's going to be x times x. Oh, OK. So now, I, though, I don't like writing them all out unless I really have to. So in here, I just write this as x cubed times x cubed times x. Again, why did I have to write that x to x? Well, because remember, the rules of exponent state, when you multiply an exponent, you add the powers. So 3 plus 3 plus 1 gives you 7. And then here, this is y to the third times y to the third times y to the third. Again, my thinking, my mathematical thinking brain, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to write as many variables with the power that's the same as the index. Because as long as I can write them as many with the power to the index, they undo each other, right? Remember we talked about inverse operations? So as long as the index is the same as the power, these undo each other. That equals x. That equals x. I can't undo the cube root of x. So that's going to remain under the radical. That goes to y, y, y. Why? That sounds like, like a Mortal Kombat game. Like, why, why, why? So it's the cube root of x. x squared, y cubed, cube root of x is your final answer. Can you put a multiplication sign like y to the third? What? 